The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. It was like a safari. Every time I turned around, there was an animal. You never know who you're gonna meet. So at every single showcase, there was entertainment. What are you gonna do? Definitely woke me up. He gave a great presentation. So you never know what you might find. It's a lifestyle. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. So a long time ago, pre-children, my parents really wanted to move to Orlando, Florida. I was fine with it, but that same year where they were planning on putting their house up for sale, I got pregnant with Miles. So they canceled that trip. But Miles is about to be 21 years old and the kids are old enough and they thought it's time for them to move. I've never been apart from my parents. So this is really dramatic and stressful for me not to have my parents live eight blocks from me. <laughs> They're moving to a really cool place. It's a 55 plus golf cart community where they have over 200 clubs and it's really cool and I'm really happy for my parents going over there. So I guess I'll be traveling to Orlando at least once a month. So one of the activities that we went to Orlando to do this time is to actually pick the features and the upgrades for my parents' new home. Thank you. Hello. 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 How are you doing? From the floors to uh, the wood cabinetry and the granite and... So I wanted to show you both and you let me know which one you like the most. I just want to make sure, okay? okay? All that cool stuff and they're really excited about that but my mom wanted us to have a say in this also because we're also going to be enjoying the house when we go visit them. They actually have the entire property set up here. It looks awesome. Oh, we've got the limo. Where are we going now? We look at the model house before we keep making decisions on what the interior is going to look like. Cool. Because you're custom adding all the stuff, different levels, but I don't remember what it looked like. This is the door they chose, but the brown would be blue, right? No, this would be blue. This is the upgrade one. So I wanted to tell them, I'm making choices, I want you to know I get what the hell we're talking about. Yo! Alright, wait, let me try, let me try this guy. Yeah, do it All for right, real. D, D, one, do it. two, three. Okay, be wolf. Oh. <laughs> Is it good? It's good. It's good? It's good. It's, good. Good, it's, good, good. Go. Right. it's intense. <laughs> oh. 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 We have to get that guy's attention, but we don't know how. Everybody stick out your thumb on three, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> is the guy real? Senor! Yeah, is that, is that a is that a model helper? <laughs> Oh, oh, he's alive. He's alive. Hello! <laughs> the other thing that we got to do is they already broke ground on their property and we got to see, you know, like the outline and the architectural plans and that was really cool. Wow. Uh -huh. This looks big. Right, and then it goes up. our future home. When the house is finished, then I'll tell you how I feel. Now it's an empty lot. But the ground is hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah! Oh, look. Oh, how cool. I'm so happy for my parents. In Kissimmee, which is right next to Orlando, Florida, there's this great spot called Old Town. There's not a time really where we go to Orlando or Kissimmee or Lake Buena Vista or any of the surrounding cities and we don't stop at our favorite place. I love Old Town and Fun Spot. They have something new every time you go there. Yeah, I'm about to throw up just watching it. <laughs> 
There's so much to do there. They have a car show and they have live entertainment and they have great bars and they have massages and they have great shopping. And then right next door is this place called Fun Spot where you can do crazy things. So one of my oldest and closest to my heart friends lives in Orlando and her name is also Alex. Every time that I try to go up there, I try to meet with her and it worked out this time. You remember Alex? He's one of my best friends. <laughs> He doesn't remember me. That's okay. I know. He's When's the last time you saw him? So there's this ride in Orlando that our family has coined as Superman. Why are you shaking, Dean? Because I'm going on the Superman. He's going on the Superman. I've been on the Superman. I was the one that had to pull the string. <laughs> All my children had been on there except Dylan. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. Once you're up there, you can't get off me. I know. That watch isn't coming off. I don't know that. <laughs> He's nervous now. It's like 300 feet tall and you're basically free falling the whole entire time. And he's telling me it's not that big. Dude, it's alright, man. Only like one out of seven people actually fall out of the harness. What? Any final words to your fans? We love you. Everyone does it with two, three people. I did it by myself. Alan, we're gonna miss you. There he goes. That's Dylan right there. On the helicopter. Oh my god. <laughs> you look straight down and it doesn't look that tall. But then you look to your right and left and it's miles. You see miles that way, miles that way. My first thought when I pulled the cord was I'm gonna die. Oh damn. As you're flying through Past the uh, the viewing area, you just hear. Whoo. I'll be ready one day. One day, huh? Is today that day? No, today's not that day. <laughs> today's just not that day. <laughs> Dude, you're a rock star, man. You are a rock star. I mean, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Even when they put here. you all the way up there. Uh-uh. With a helicopter right behind you? Yeah, we have a video. <laughs> yeah, man. Right behind you. You were up there with a helicopter. I heard it. I just didn't. I couldn't turn around. She's like, pull the cord. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, you know who had to pull it for our Sabrina. And she was like, I'm not pulling it. I'm not going to pull it. He said, if we tell you not to pull the cord, don't pull it. And I go, I know. Why? And then he goes, um, because we don't want you smacking into one of the towers. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you had a moment of yourself up in, in the sky with God. So what did you think about? <laughs> what did I think about? I'm like, I hope I don't die. These little things are small. You're gonna lose, D. Let's review what just happened. One of the messages in this episode is adapting to change. 
For the most part, we are conditioned that change is a bad thing. It really isn't. Work with it. If you go and approach it with a different mindset, change for the most part is always a good thing. Lesson two in this episode is about facing your fears. We've all heard it before. One of my mentors taught me that fear was false expectations appearing real. A lot of times we create and fabricate this fear within our mind when in reality is not really as bad as you thought it was gonna be. Next time that something comes in front of you and you're having some sort of fear, challenge that fear and go through with it and make it happen. You will start living the life that you're supposed to be living. Life is fun, it's great, it's awesome when you choose to live it. And like always, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. What are you gonna do? Make it happen. I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds. Welcome to The Family Show. And what I, hey, what? Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're gonna do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do, do, what are you waiting for? Do it now.